All right, so this is the section where we're going to introduce Firebase. So if what I want you guys to do, so we made a bunch of components. Now we're going to bring in Firebase. So first thing first, let me open the terminal. Actually, I already have the terminal. I mean, I don't need this. Let's get let's get the terminal going. Make it a little bigger. So you can see what I'm about to do. Okay. So I'm gonna install Firebase. npm install dash dash save Firebase. So let that let that install. It shouldn't take that long to install. So while it's installing, let me pull up my internet. Why is it taking? Okay. So because I'm recording, that's why it's taking long, guys. If I wasn't recording, this is actually quick. So, so I'm gonna go to Firebase, the website, obviously, and then I'm gonna go to my console. So it's finished. It's going. Okay. Not quite, not quite. Yes, it is now. Yeah, that's good. So that's that's all we need from this. All right. Let's bring it in. So we say import Firebase from Firebase. So we're bringing it in. This is nice. Oh, this I'm like I wanted to bring this in from the the app.js, not the thing. Let's do it in the app.js. Okay. So let's connect. Let's create a new ad project so you guys can see. Honestly, you don't we don't even really need to create one. I can just show you what you need to do in order for this to work. So I have a bunch here, but should I really do should I create one or just use one of the same ones? Okay, so you can create a new project, give it a project name, whatever you want to know, call it, click I accept, it creates the project. It's really that simple. I just don't want to create a new one. Okay, so because this is the same one that I made. And once you have done that, the next thing is so it's up to you. Actually, it's not up to you. If you you have three choices, either the iOS, this one, whatever that is, that that's the Android, or the web app. Click the web app. Take take everything you see from from um, API key. Take it to Messenger Sender ID. Just copy it. Just that section alone. Copy it. Nothing else. Once you copy that section, close it. Go to authentication. I mean, go back to your app. Now, there, one of the, there are three main components in React. I mean, in terms of like the cycles, we have the render phase, we have the component will mount, and component did mount. The component will mount comes before the render, and the component did mount comes after the render phase. The render phase is what you see on the screen. So before the render phase, what we see on the screen we have something called the components will you have to get the spelling right by the way component will mount this this space is before the render phase so what i want to do here is i want to initialize firebase here firebase initialize app and then i'm going to paste what i copied notice what i did i'm going to, i pasted what i copied again i really don't care that you have you can use the same one i'm using here it's not really, this is just a test app. This is not something that I, like, it's, this is just for fun, basically. There's no security in it. N now, now that we have done that, we're not finished yet. So, then, under that, after we've initialized the app, firebase.off, 
and then we're gonna call we're gonna do something should I do that now and say change user I'm thinking I should show you guys something alright so you see how is um, do you see how we have um, is logged in as false I'm gonna change it to null for a second I'm gonna tell you why there are three phases null this um, null this true this false so what we would do here is I'm gonna say firebase dot off so firebase does have the it knows basically how to authenticate the user so we're gonna say on auth state changed and then pass an iterator function the user which is me in this case so we're gonna say if user so if the user is logged in obviously so we're gonna change this to this dot set state if the user is logged in set state we're gonna say is log. We're gonna change the is login to to either. So if the user is logged in, so we're gonna change it to from now. Let's see. So we can say this dot stay dot logged in. And now I just have to create logged in. I'm I'm gonna create this variable here called logged in to so change that. And then we can say else. Just copy and paste this. Change logged in to false. It is logged, we change it to false. If the user is not logged in. Okay. And then we can say um four. That was a mistake by me. So in, in this case, if you're not logged in, then it is false. If you are logged in, you get this. This will change to true, because if this is false, this the, this would be true by placing the exclamation mark in front of it. OK, so um, what's next that I can show you guys? Let's see. Let me save this. Oh, okay, so I, I know what I can do from here. I can set it up in the render phase where where um, we have a switch a switch case that will go through all three cases, and then from there we would um, find out which users logged in or not. So I'll do that on the next video. This so in, in this video we basically we downloaded Firebase in our terminal. I showed you what's a copy on Firebase. I'm going to show you what the accounts are soon and then we initialize it using component with mount now all this that I added you do need it I'm going to show you how to use it in the next video how it works using a switch case instead of an if else that's the reason why I made this null we'll go into it on, on the next video thank you